Shifting to Class B, highlighted by a doubleheader matchup in Flasher between the Bulldogs and the Troopers. Let's go to the biggest gym in Grant County, unofficially. Troopers showing off for the paparazzi. But it's Flasher shining under the lights tonight. Landed Frederick drains a three from the top of the key. Bulldogs open with an 11-0 run. Troopers making some noise, though. It's Ty Iglehart kicking it to Zachary Seidler wide open for the corner three. But with the temperatures dropping, it was Freeze show on display. Jace Freeze finishing with 32 and 13, and that helps Flasher win by 21. Now the girls and Flasher taking on Garrison. Less than two minutes to go. Garrison leads by four. Troopers inbound, but it'd be blocked by Timber Bolt. Carly Klein with the rebound, though, back up and extends the lead to six. Next possession, Troopers look inside, but it's turned over. Bulldogs trying to capitalize. Shot is no good, but Bolt gets the second one. But Flasher not able to pull off the comeback. How about up North Surrey taking on Trenton at Nedros. First quarter, Mustangs Katie Aberly shoots and misses, but it's followed by her shot. And the second effort is good to go, and the Mustangs take the lead over the defending Region 8 champs. Now second quarter, Tigers working around to Raquel Archer. Archer, excuse me, and she drains the wide open three and pulls within one later in the second. Tigers now looking to pull ahead, drive in the lane and the jumper there and rattles home and Trenton wins 40 to 31. How about South Prairie hosting Glenburn first quarter. South Prairie move the ball to the corner where Lance Pittner is wide open. He'll drain the three, but back comes Glenburn. Luke Anderson gonna find a cutting Devin Heinze. And he lays it in with the left hand, and South Prairie's going to win 65-39.